Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is the day of Carla's first ultra. She's doing Run to the Sea Brighton and it's a race that goes from Horsham, so a place called Christ Hospital School, down to Hove Promenade, so finishes along the sea not too far from where we live. Her parents saw her off from the start this morning because they live not too far from the start point and she's going to be making her way along the downs link. It's mostly flat for the first half. At about halfway in she hits a mile of climbing to get up onto the South Downs and then she has the undulations of the South Downs before hitting a downhill towards the end in the final few miles to go towards Hove Promenade which is where it finishes. Hi everyone so I'm here um, at Ron to the Sea doing my first ultra didn't have a very great morning couldn't eat anything and I've, I've been having like a really bad stomach but it's just nerves so I'm hoping it'll die out um, when I get going. Uh, weather is not looking great as you can see but but not the worst you know it's a bit misty um, and a bit drizzly but not torrential rain running temperature though is good so it's about 13 degrees uh, and I've actually come up to the 20 mile point so I've just come up from Brighton to Devil's Dyke here uh, I've got a backpack full of watermelon so if Carla at 20 miles in fancies some watermelon then I've got plenty here probably uh, enough to supply a good few runners actually so hopefully in about an hour and a half or so we should see Carla coming by here Devil's Dyke at the 20 mile point and we'll be able to see how she's getting on thank you good going lovely weather yeah perfect day for it <laughs> cheers so that was first woman through there but it's so hard to see people coming in the distance Look at this, just a blanket of fog. How are you? Yeah, good. Perfect day for it. Oh, lovely, isn't it? Keep it going. Oh, cool. Nice one. Oh, Alex, off to the right. That's the one. So that was Alex there. Uh, he is a fellow Phoenix runner. Super run, actually. He did the South Downs Way 50 came in fourth place and he's actually signed up for the 100 as well this year so we've we've got the same races yeah he seems to be going really well today and we've got a couple more runners coming up i can see through the mist nice job mate well done You're right. keep it going yeah doing you can't, good you can't see a thing down <laughs> nice job mate keep it going well done Hey, how's How it going? You, doing? you good? It's tropical. What's that? Tropical. Crazy, isn't it? How are you? Nice to I'll see you. I'll jog with you for a moment. Oh yeah. Dear. <laughs> you enjoyed it so far today. Do you know what? I can't see a bloody thing, but I'm sure the view is amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good. It's all about trying to keep winding your neck in on the first half, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So you do feel you paced it all right on the first half because it's pretty, it's pretty flat, isn't well, it? The thing and then is, it gets I've come off of a load of road events, so. My legs are used to a bit of a faster tempo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just had to have a bit of a reality check about 10k in and thought I was going a bit fast. But yeah, it's fine now. This is my, my favourite bit all the time. Yeah, so. it's lovely, isn't it? Well, well like you, this is, our, <laughs> this is our turf, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. Right, I'll let you get on. Enjoy it. Nice one. Have a good one out there. See you in a bit. Man. It's not even going to come out, is no, it? Is there any point not. filming? <laughs> so I just bumped into Jeff here. And what are we doing out here, Ben? You enjoying it, or is enjoy is, is that a stretching well, of the word enjoy? I'll enjoy it when it's leading. over and I'm back yeah, home. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, look, you can't pick the weather, right? So that's it. It's just gonna get on with it. it won't last forever. Exactly. So. And what are you like? 19, 20 miles in at the moment? Uh, good question. Kilometers. We are nearly 30. Okay, that's so, cool. Yeah, not too bad. Look, look at that. 20 to go. Nothing at all, is it? <laughs> Next time I'm doing 30 miles, I'll be on a night run with you. Yeah, so Jeff's going to pace me for the final part of the South Downs Way 100. So fingers crossed we get some... Oh, it's not like this, well, I hope. it isn't like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you finding it so far? Oh, How's it going? I am knackered, mate. Um, I'm fashionably, to be fair. I'm probably now 30k in nearly. So yeah, 30k in. I'm feeling okay. Um, but just lack of training. Um, it's your first ultra back for a while, isn't it? Yeah, two years. And uh, only two months out from quitting cigarettes, so... <sighs> you're doing great, really good, because you're keeping up with consistency, aren't you? Getting back into it. Yeah, bit by bit. So doing really good. Oh, thank you. Right, I'm roughly at the 18 mile point. I've got Carla's watermelon ready. 
so if she decides she'd like some watermelon at this point then she can have some and actually I've situated myself just before there's a bit of a climb so she can eat as she's going up this climb so we've still got runners coming through at the moment rain still pelting it down um, but not torrential I suppose well done guys Hi. well done someone had a makeshift waterproof there well done Hi. nice job Hi. Hi. nice going well done Oh, we found Carla. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Do you want some watermelon? I do, actually. <laughs> God, look at those sheep. Oh my God, that's so cute. Wow. Review of the watermelon. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> still good. It got a bit it got a bit bashed around in my bag. But it's still yeah. alright? Yeah. Good. What was your review of the first half then? How did the first half go? Okay, but I started with a really bad stomach. <laughs> I'm totally not surprised about that, but uh, just nerves, really. Um, yeah, it wasn't this rainy as well. But it was all right. I felt like my stomach eased into it, but it meant I couldn't really eat breakfast. So, um, and I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's often the case, kind of pre-race nerves. Yeah. But you feel like you've settled into it. Yeah, although, as to be expected, I'm feeling it in the legs and everything. But just trying to just keep going when I can and walk bits if I have to. Yeah, that's the way to do it, pacing it. Um, they think half a mile next day station so yeah not too far Right, so that is a checkpoint at Saddlescombe Farm done and we're just coming up to 20 miles. Just very wet. So we're about 23 miles in at the moment. How are you feeling besides very wet? My back's starting to hurt and just general everything is starting to hurt. But I'm trying to get used to that feeling. <laughs> that everything just feels achy. Oh, you're doing good, still moving, moving well. And it is fuel going down okay, so liquids Hi, and food. Girl. Um yeah. Managing to get a bit of tailwind in. I'm trying to. Yeah, big props to everyone out there running today. Not easy conditions with the mud and the constant drizzle. It's that kind of fine rain, not like really heavy, but it's that fine rain that just completely <laughs> soaks through everything. And yeah, in places the ground is getting a little bit more churned up. So, you know, Carla had a bit of a dilemma today 
as to whether or not to go for road shoes or trail shoes but went for road in the end because her road shoes help with the foot problems she's got in terms of they give more cushioning but of course it can mean in some parts of the course where it's a bit more muddy don't get quite as much grip so it's a difficult balance <laughs> Why did you sign up to this? <laughs> So Kyle's just going through the last aid station there. And it's just over marathon distance. So yeah, she's got about probably four or five miles to go now until the end. So yeah, she's doing really good. I think she's picking up some coke there at the aid station. Hey. So we've got about two and a half miles to go. The rain is coming down a little bit more. How are you feeling? How's it going? Considering how I felt this morning, I had a hell of a lot better. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I don't know, just for the last six miles, I just knew I was gonna do it. And I've suddenly got this like big wave of energy. So I'm just going for it. <laughs> So we've got about half a mile to go and we can see the sea just off in the distance there. The event is of course run to the sea so Carla has almost run to the sea now and then there'll just be a fraction of a mile to go along the seafront to the finish line. So yeah, really not long. I just want to get there now. Three main things um, that, I, that I've taken away from doing my first ultra is marathons can be harder than ultras. Um, it, it depends what kind of marathon you do, but just for an example, um, I did Beachhead Marathon, which is a really hilly marathon, um, and compared to Run to the Sea Brighton, that was um, had a lot less elevation but obviously the distance was greater but Beachy Head personally was a lot more difficult so bear in mind that marathons actually can be harder than ultras and the second thing is um, often when you begin runs and you kind of get going you will be fine um, I was really nervous um, in the morning and I had a really bad sleep um, but actually once I kind of got going things settled, my stomach settled and I was able to eat little bits along the way so actually you, you, you will be okay if you just slowly, gradually um, get your body used to running. Training is never going to be perfect um, but really kind of try your best to trust the process. Um, my training was really up and down and I had to put in some cross training in there. Um, but so I was really worried if I could even manage an ultra distance, but it's just trusting the process and actually doing other things. Doesn't mean you're gonna lose your fitness, um, but you will still be okay.
like everything is just completely soaked. It was tough conditions mm. out there. I've never had a race like that. I didn't want to say no. when, when I was running along with you how it was, awful like, they were. Um, but yeah, it just that very fine rain that just kept going on and kept getting you soaked and the, the mud as well in places. Yeah, so I am really pleased and it, I don't think it's quite settled, settled in yet but I feel kind of like I just want to go home just to get out of all this wet stuff. Right, let's go like, home, and let's then, do it. Yeah. But congratulations, you've Thank done so well. You.